so good morning students this is another class for biology for engineers the course code is bbs01t1008 and the topic today we are going to cover is interaction of signals and bioelectric signals like ecg recapitulation we should be known to the cell membrane as well as the physiology in detail objective here in this class is to understand the interaction of signals and bioelectric signals like ecg and emg so after this how the passage of the ions is going through within these channels or ion channels can be seen in the cell membrane also so i hope you all remember the cell membrane part we have covered in module 1 so it is a phospholipid uh, phospholipid bilayer this is the you know diagrammatic presentation it is having various types of proteins like peripheral protein globular protein and various other kind of the protein along with the ion channels basically we need to understand how the functioning of that ion channels within the cell membrane here is our main concern so if i'll see only the cell membrane how the electrical and chemical gradient at the semi permeable cell membrane is going to pass through so this is the one side of the cell membrane the left side and the other side which is having uh, you know the other kind of ions present on the right side it can be seen seen in this particular diagram as well like ion potential and the resting potential so the sodium ion and the, the cl negative ion are present outside of this particular whereas the organic ions as well as potassium ions are present inside and this is the ion potential and resting potential can be understood like in the previous slide we have already discussed so it is also maintaining a resting potential with the movement so sodium ions are actively transported and this uses the energy to maintain the resting potential so sodium potassium pump a membrane protein exchange three sodium ions for two potassium ions so this can be seen here in this video also and the diagram as well so the epsp and uh, ipsp both can be seen as a result of this ion movements so opening of the ion channels which leads to depolarization and makes an action potential more likely hence the epsp inside of the post synaptic cell membrane becomes less negative you can see it becomes less negative the sodium channels and the calcium channels you can see that can pass through these leaky channels outside and inside there is a flow through leaky channels present in the you know cell membrane so now we can see how the potassium and the sodium chloride and organic ions can be present inside and outside of the cell membrane to create the electrical and chemical gradient at the semi permeable cell membrane so we can see depolarization of the sodium cation as a result of that sodium cations are going to rush in this is the phospholipid bilayer and these are the ion gates so hyperpolarization can also be also be seen that you can see the potassium ions are rushing out because they are present inward or inside of this cell membrane so voltage and the time dependent activation of ion channels and physiological basis can be studied uh, for the action potential so like it was shown in the video also once it will open the sodium ions will move in you can see you know with the diagram it can be seen so it is opening and closing all through sodium channels is followed similarly the potassium channel is going to have the potassium ions you know coming from coming out from inward to outward so the potential action potential sodium and potassium movement through membrane will be obtained and it can be captured through graphical way you can see here the sodium and the potassium so here we have on y axis membrane potential you know and this is can be shown by the measurement of the potentials so action potential within the nerve can be obtained in the synaptic potential like i have told you in the exon and the synapse in the previous class also this can be shown in the synaptic transduction this is exo dendritic transmission so one exon is attached to another dendron and transmitting all the 
uh, you know neurotransmitter with the synaptic activity the all signals will be passing from this synaptic cleft to the another um, you can say another dendron so this can be seen as a synaptic coupling and the release and the uptake of the neurotransmitter similarly can be shown here in this diagram as well uh, so the pathway signal pathway in the central nervous system will be seen and connected and passing in the similar manner you can see the same signaling can be passing through you know neurons you know one exon exon dendron passage and it will passing through the whole central nervous system so if i'll talk about the bioelectric signals you know bioelectric signals may be ecg emg electrocardiogram electromyogram electro oculogram and there are many um, ways by which we can be able to get the bioelectric signals so we will see certain examples like ecg electrocardiogram electrocardiogram this is you know heart vector qr is complex it can be how this particular ecg can be obtained on the graphical data can be seen here so similarly the ecg can be can be plotted and recorded so application of ecg is used for diagnostic purpose functional analysis of heart the implant pacemakers and the biofeedback you know regarding the activity regular activity and peak performance training and monitoring if i'll talk about the emg another kind of bio signaling that is emg can be taken here only the diagrammatic way i will show you the impulse of electrodes and electromyogram can be taken in this way so the signals will be captured and it is the outcome of the signals can be seen here it, these are the other possible ways to record the EMG through different electrodes, passive and active electrodes. So these are the various electromyograms. These are the recording locations on the facial, facial EMG electromyograms. Here we can record various kind of signals. These are the needle electrodes and these are the adhesive electrodes that can be used for recording such. Application is the rehabilitation, functional analysis, active prosthetic and uh, you know other medical and biomedical uh, significances certain references that will be covering the whole through neurons neural activity the synaptic activity so you can go through the certain references as well for this further study so this is all for today thank you very much